Namaskar. Today we will have a discussion on research and publication ethics. So, research and publication ethics module 3 that is publication ethics. So, this publication ethics will go by structures, this objectives, directions, ethical with respect to the science and research, and then if you have falsifications, best practices. Conflict of interest, violations, conflict of interest, violation of publications, ethics, authorships and contributorships, peer-reviewed publishers and summary. So that means publication of ethics, definition of introduction and importance, best practices, standards, setting initiatives and guidelines that is of the COPE, OEM, etc. Conflict of interest, publication of misconducts, definition, concept of problems that lead to unethical behavior and vice versa of the types, violation of the publication ethics, authorships and contributorships, contributorships, identification of publication, misconduct, compliance and appeals, predatory publishers and journals, summary and also questions and answers. That is the structure of these modules. So general of the introduction of the publication ethics is that Research integrity may be defined as an active adherence to the ethical principles of professional standards and essential for responsible practices of research. So by active adherence we mean adoption of the principles and practices as a personal credo, not simply accepting them as the impositions by the makers. By ethical principles we mean honesty, the golden rule, trustworthiness and fresh rigors for the scientific record. For individual research integrity is an aspect of moral character and experience. It involves above all a commitment to intellectual honesty and personal responsibility of one's actions and a range of practices that character responsible research conduct, national achievement survey we can see. So ethics which means the rules, means ethics terms as it is, means rules of a conduct, moral or that's of the um, moral principles and in practice when it comes to the creating knowledge of any kind and specificity of a domain of the research and because of our comes the research of the directly integrated institutions. The topic of the research of ethics is important not only when conducting research, but also when published when we are publishing. So why is the research is that the research is a one of the process, we do the research and then the research process again comes that publishing. So research output when it comes in a paper to know the people what kind of research has been undertaken. So we come and the cross across the searches. That's what is called the research ethics, and we have to do that kind of things. What is the criteria of profession according to the pieces? So these are the ones we want to know that what kind of the essentials of publication of ethics, definition of different introductions. So we have to know that. What is an ethical conduct of research? So ethics is a term of generally defined what we will already told that in different forum that what is the ethics. So I will not go about it. We will go from the different issues. So what is an ethical issues? That's why it is important for learners or researchers to follow these ethical course. Because how does to adherence of this can impact the credibility and reputation of the scientific community. Firstly, uh, firstly, this ethical course not only help maintain scientific integrity but also safeguard the primary aim of conducting research and the promote the knowledge and truth. So, secondly, these values 
are promote trust, respect, and objectivity in collaborative work environment by avoiding conflict of interest, authorship, copyright, and others. So, lastly, these ethical norms make researchers accountable for quality and outcome of the research that may directly or indirectly affect public health interest. So, after going through these learners, they will be provided to this topic, which is given them topic to publish, to provide insights to the learner regarding scientific conduct and implication of the research. To know about the epistemology of ethics and educational research. To learn about intellectual honesty and research integrity. To conjecture about the possible scientific misconduct. To summarize the redundant publications. To distinguish between the duplicate and overlapping publications. To know overcoming salami slicing. All these things a typical person has to know. So research ethics is a timeline. People have to know that what is the timeline. Integrity of fulfill of the research. Objectivity of the research ethics of important. So objectivity, competence, carefulness, integrity, legality, openness. All these importance. According to the UNESCO, United Nations Education defines research as a systematic and creative action taken to increase knowledge about the human culture and society to apply new essays of interest. So scientific research is a research performed by applying systematic and constructed scientific methods to obtain, analyze and interpret data. So the definition of the representation of the best practices, what are the best practices? Why guidelines were, what kind of guidelines are developed. So this was the study of the design of ethical approval, then data analysis, authorship, conflict of interest, so peer review, then data analysis, redundant publication, plagiarisms, duties of the authors. So all these things we have to consider of uh, any definition of interest of the authors. So scientific research is a neutral, systematic, planned and multiple steps, processes that unless previously discovered the facts of advanced knowledge that does not exist to the literature. It can also classify of the observations or experiment with respect to the data collections or increments and proposes the researchers and the cross section of the respects of the details. So all scientific investigation start with a specific research questions and the formulation of hypothesis to answer this question. Hypothesis should be clear, specific and directly aim to answer the research interest and fundamentalisms. So hypothesis of the fundamentalisms part of the scientific research. The next step is the testing of the hypothesis and scientific methods to approve the and disapprove it. So the best practices of the standard setting of the initiative, how the guidelines were developed. The guidelines were developed from the preliminary version drafted by different, what is the guideline defined by COP or the communicating of, of the preliminary versions data by individual members of the committee which was submitted by the extensive consultations. They address study, design and ethical approval, data analysis, authorship, conflict of interest, the peer review process, redundant publication, plagiarism, duties of editors, media relations, advertising and how to with the misconduct. So all these things they have taken out to this was. So researchers and according to Adidas, they have given a different idea of the research and researchers ethics. So standards and setting of invited guidelines for co Different standards and guidelines are given by the co If you go to the slides, you will a different one. You can go and find out this of the ethics, how they aim to do, what kind of subjects are there, and all these things, misconducts, if it, that is available in the entire subjects is available in the website. You can go and find out that what is a different a different institutions have given a different thoughts. See, authors have a different one, how to do advertising, how what kind of principles you should apply, what kind 
of investigation of misconduct, what is the serious misconduct, all these things, they have it of given it, good guidelines. So what they aim to do, so all these things, if you go to the website, we have given is this one, so that can be so, find out what can be this in, what is the advertising is there, what is the risk situation, redundant publications, so investigation of the misconduct, dealing with the misconduct, all these things have been, you can see, the dealing with the misconduct, its principles. Its principle should be the general principle confirming misconduct is intention to cause others and regards as that of the is not true. The examination of misconduct must therefore focus not only on the particular of omissions, also on interaction and researchers, authors, editor or review or publishers. So course of practices may raise awareness but can never be exhaustive. So investigation of the misconduct. So editors should not simply reject papers or raise a questions of misconduct. They are ethically obliged to pursue the case. However, knowing how to investigate and respond to possible cases of misconduct difficult. So COP is a guideline, is always willing to advise and legal reasons how to do this misconduct of research. So what is a what kind of a dealing with the misconduct, what kind of misconduct, what is the serious misconduct, all these things that they have given different guidelines. So we have to go by those kind of guidelines and to find out what kind of research, what kind of hope they have given of this research. So what is they called ABPI fact sheets of the guideline note. So, clinical trials and comprehension guidelines of given guidelines for phase 4 criminal, uh, uh, clinical trials, guidelines of conduct of investigation side conducts, their relationship between the medicinal and conduct, medicinal professional or pharmaceutical industry conduct, the general medicine council or good medical practices, they have a different guideline conducts. So, dealing with misconducts of these things for ABPI, when the following goals. To, what is the way of following goals is that, that to facilitate worldwide cooperation and communication among editors of peer-reviewed medical journals, to improve editorial standards, to promote professionalism in medical editing through education, self-criticism and self-regulations, to encourage research on the principles and practices of the medical editing. So these are the important parts of this you have to conduct. So what is the practice? So general medicinal council, good medical council of governance. So they have given a different of that concept in February, transparency organization, medical research councils, even the entire list of things which has been given. You will find it in your course material that all are given in the course material. It will be given you even the World Association of Medical Editors. So they have given a different guidelines. So those guidelines are also available on the site and also in the our course material. We have given details of this course material. So I won't go by details of this uh, lectures. So you should go about all of the learners. They should go and refer to these questions of this how to do these practices, how to facilitate of this one. So they should be able to organize and find out this. What is the way has the following goals to facilitate worldwide corporations, communications among the editors or peer reviewed medical journals to pre improve the medical standards and to encourage. So you know that. The ethical guidelines is very very important for the medical research because nowadays you have a COVID pandemic, now it has got Omicron. So all these things, the research data, if we can accumulate and if somebody misinterpret or the misrepresentation or misrepresentation, it can have a havoc of weight of my disasters say if the data is wrong or data is given in a different way so it is very very important so people should know how to these ethical guidelines to do follow in a medical research so medical research in the ethical guideline is really is a very very important for this purpose so what we saw that so you put if you fulfill these guidelines and do things so i think today we will stop here for this unit now Thank you very much.